Kids can learn about creepy, crawly creatures in a hands-on event. Lonnie Mowens from the Fox Valley Herp Club joins us live from, from Grand Chute with more on the Reptile Fest that's going on there. Good morning, Lonnie. How are you? I'm pretty good. Yourself? Uh, doing quite well. Tell us about what kids can expect if they're going to Reptile Fest on Saturday. Okay, well this Saturday, like I said, we're having a Reptile Fest. We're going to probably have about six to eight members uh, attending the event and uh, they'll have all sorts of uh, Critters besides snakes will have some bearded dragons and some iguanas. And the purpose of our thing is to give hands-on experience of holding these snakes. These snakes have been to a lot of shows and are very docile. And uh, uh, people come with some fears in them. And after they leave, I would say most of them have accomplished or have come over some of their fears of holding these snakes. The two that you have there I think are, are really gorgeous. I love the colorings on them. Why don't you explain uh, what kind of snakes they are? Sure. If you look for it, we'll start with the yellow one. That is a ball python, but that's called an albino ball python. They don't have the pigmentation, they got the pink eyes. And uh, the, the ball python is a, widely, a nice, very nice snake for a starter or to hold because they're very docile and they don't move around as much. They'll sit there. If you look at the other one, which is uh, there, is a Brazilian rainbow boa. They get their, uh, uh, they're very highly iridescent snake. If you get them in the sun, they'll just kind of glow like, you know, purples and stuff, really bright. And none of these snakes uh, uh, have, you know, big teeth that we have to worry about, right? No, no. They have little bitty gripper teeth, but most of these, uh, they never bite. You know, it's the only time they do is like, say, basically for feeding time. Uh, that's the only time you, uh, you just kind of be careful, you know, they make sure you don't have the smell of the rat or something on your hand. But when they come here, we make sure that they've eaten and they're not in the shed because they get a little grumpy when they're in the shed. So we pick out the, hand, the best ones for the, each day. All right. How much does it cost to go to this event? How many what? How much does it cost for a, a kid to go to this oh. event? Ah, that I don't know. I didn't uh, contact, but I think it's it's not too much. It's only a couple of bucks, I think. Yeah, I think it's two dollars a kid, maybe five dollars a family. If, if, it could be. Yeah, that sounds I, about right. I believe that's what it is. We can check out our website. That's fox11online.com. We'll worry we have more information. And uh, real quickly, what is the the best thing you think kids can take away when they go to reptile events like this? Oh, what they can take away, like I say, is basically their misconceptions. Like some will say. Uh, you know, it's a slimy and stuff like that. And they, after they feel these things, I have a lot of kids after they want, all say, God, I'd like to have one. After they, you know, <laughs> held these snakes, then they want them. But this, it's up to the parents usually. <laughs> that it is, that it is. Uh, Lonnie, thank you so much for joining us again. Uh, more information on our website, fox11online.com. I think they're cool animals. Some people might be a little bit freaked out by them, but it's, hey, your chance to check them out. It's this Saturday coming up.